Hey man, it's Diamond Stone TV. I'm bringing y'all another exclusive interview, man, with OG Percy, man. We still on Dawson Unit with this one, man. Um, another another episode of Tales from a Crib, man. Make sure y'all leave y'all uh, comments, y'all thoughts. You know, uh, like the channel and subscribe. Let's get into it. Okay, we just recently here did a story on uh, Dawson Unit, man. I seen a lot of people was rocking with it. A lot of people was fucking with it, man. They was all in the comments. And, and and I I have to ask this question, man. Did you did you learn anything like on, on Dawson unit? Yes, sir. I um on Dawson unit. That's the unit I learned how to proact before I react. Right. Yeah, yeah. I learned how to proact before I react on Dawson, man. On Dawson, man. You if you don't if you don't do no thinking over there, you get them young niggas over there will run around you. Dawson is full of drug addicts. You know, niggas that got game. You know, um, niggas that got caught with a little dope. Right. Yeah, it ain't no, it ain't no place where you get caught with nothing major. You ain't, you didn't catch no five to ninety nine or nothing, nigga. You got caught with some crumbs, nigga. And you know, half them niggas in there were like, like we love dope fiends or or niggas that was on meth or niggas that was on ice or niggas that was on this. And niggas in there really just no state jail is really like a place to come clean out of it. You know, niggas get nine months, six months, uh, a year. You know. Right, um, right, right. Dawson, uh, two year life sentence, that we call it. It's the max that you can get. Now you can get up to five years now, y'all. Y'all right. better watch it. You get up to five years in the state jail now. Everything day for day. Yeah. Um, but being there, I had to learn how to discipline myself, man, and, re and proact, man, and be humble and be still. You know, um, when you're in population, a lot of, you get, you get a lot of, you get a lot of, you get access to a lot of things in population than you do in solitary and seeing and shit. Right. So, you know, in order to stay in population, man, you got to discipline yourself to stay in there. Let you people know right now, they got jail inside of jail. Right. Man, let me repeat that. They got jail <laughs> inside of jail. You got population, you got solitary, that's jail. Right. You dig what I'm saying? And I don't like going to jail. Jail scared me. I'm scared of jail. And niggas go to jail in TDC every day. You see a nigga go do something, and you work hard, they could went to jail a while ago. God right. damn. Right. It's like being on the streets. Population is called, you know, you get the telephone, you get to look at your little TV, you might get to go over there and shake you a couple of dominoes, right, you know, right, play right. your little cards or a little chess or something, you know, a little game, something occupy your mind, but back there in that hole, you don't get none of that. So, one thing I learned on Dawson, man, is how to stay out of that place. If I can stay out of jail, in jail, I can stay out of jail outside right. of jail. You dig what I'm saying? Right, you know, right, right. I learned that, man, and uh, doing that discipline, man, watch this, they had a talent show, Tales from a Crip. They had a talent show down there in, in, in the Dawson J State Jail, man. Shout out to um, Mary, shout out to um, Big Head Chaney, shout out to King, man, um, and shout out to some of them girls, man. Shout out to, um, God damn me, um, what's her name, Miss Austin? God damn me. Shout out to Miss Austin, shout out to Miss Dottie, you know what I'm saying? That was over there, man. Looked that real. Shout out to Miss T, man. Big, big, big lip T, man. Shout out to Miss T with them lips, man. Y'all know Miss T. Anybody on Dawson? Right. Y'all see them lips? Miss Lips T and got them lips and got a many cases wrote. You know, cause niggas go straight in when they say Miss see Miss T lips. Shout out to my nigga Assassin too, man. He was on Dawson rocking Scorpio uh, too, man. Uh, uh, Assassin from Ferguson. Yeah, Assassin from Ferguson, man. He was on Dawson. He did his time on Dawson before he even hit the unit. I think he stayed over there a good two years, you understand me? Right. Shout out to Sassy, man, and uh, one time they said they were going to have a talent show on that motherfucker, man. I said, a talent show? No, oh, I they, were, they were actually hosting a talent show? Yeah, they show? actually hosted a, uh, a talent show so the free world people and uh, you know, the TDC guards you know, could bring a couple of people in and host a talent show and show the talent they got inside the state jail, man. It was the holidays coming up, Christmas was coming up, they trying to find something to do creative. So they had a talent show, man. So, right. You know, old badass person, as I told y'all, I just came off a of lockdown, off of, um, out of solitary, man, from um, being in a riot. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't came back to the population, you know, after they freed me out of jail from back there, let me back into population, and um, I wanted to be in the talent show like everybody else. But, you know, the guard Mary, they hated on me so bad because I was a bad actor, you know. And then the first thing they came with me, say, Demerson, you signing up for the talent show, you can't sign up, you got to have, um, you know, 60 days free, you know, 30 days, no case, no case. I don't got no cases. You ain't got no cases, Dems. I ain't got no cases. We're gonna put your name on there. 
You know, Mary didn't want Mary didn't want me to be a part of shit. All Mary wanted me to do was go home. Right, right. And who who was Mary? Mary was the chief. He was the manager. He ran he ran state jail and the TDC side. He was the manager. Then you had King, which was the chief over there. Then you had the warden. You know, but Mary Mary ran the, the system. He ran every flow he could. He was he was the man. You no, know, did nobody fuck with Mary. Mary, you no, know, he he was a real bitch ass nigga because he had a a a, a, a power. A power authority. He he loved to have power over you. You know what I'm saying? And anything that that will stand up against Mary, you understand me? He'll make sure you fail. He'll make you sure you fall. He'll put you in lock up, fuck over you. Anything he had to do, man. He don't like nobody standing up to him. He showed it like Percy. Right. Percy wasn't no goddamn me following. I was gonna be me. And you know? um, and damn sure didn't want me in the talent show. Right. He didn't want me in there. So he said, but since I had 30 days, you know. Case free, he had, he had no choice but to let me sign up. I signed up. And I signed up, I started scheming and trying to find out a way that I could win the talent show. Right, right, right. The prize was a um a hundred dollars worth of commissary and a, and a headphone set. For the first one. The second second place had um fifty dollars commissary. Third place got twenty-five dollars commissary. So um, yeah. Yo, when you're in that state jail, you need some commissary. The commissary is necessary, man. Y'all understand me? Right, right, right. And, and niggas gonna sign up, go shoot a hundred dollars worth of stuff? And a headphone set? Oh shit. I don't give a damn nigga if you know how to do, you know, anything. Sang opera, nigga. Nigga, you signing up to try to go win that. I don't give a damn if you know how to jug motherfucking uh, uh milk cartons or something, nigga. Right. Nigga gonna sign up, go try to win that. So um, uh, I signed up, go try to win that stuff, man. I don't know what I'm now, I had my comments, my money was all right on my books, but I still wanted that them headphones and that, that shit sound good. So right. um I went to Don Dolo, shout out to the army Don Dolo, one beat on his chest, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Shout out to my nigga Pottywood Chill Wheel, man. He was back there, man. Chill Wheel had a lot of something. So I went to Chill Wheel. I had Don Dolo first, say, man, let's team up, man, go do something for the talent show and split that money, man. Right. You know, Don Dolo, you know, he's an artist of his own, you know, so sometimes people don't want their talent to, to clash with the next man talent, so he he passed me up. Right. So I said, cool. So I went to Chill Wheel. Chill Wheel. Let's do a song, man, together. You know, Chill Wheel, let's, shit, let's, be, let's go. Let's murder worse shit. Shout out to Pollywood Chill Wheel, man. You understand, man? Me and him, we teamed up. And we did a song called What You Talking About, man. Right. And that song jumped out. And then we, we screamed what you talking about. And Chill come in with his flow. What you talking about? I come in with my flow. And we let every, every nigga that want to get in that has some flow to jump on that show. And, um. It was audition time, man. So when audition time came, it was 70 people there for audition, man. And uh shit, you know, only 10 people could make the audition, could make the talent show. Only right. 10 people. And that goes for the state jail and the TDC part. Right. We're gonna get five from them and five from the state jail, man. And uh, we're gonna have a talent show. Out of 70 people. Out of 70. So it's audition time, you know, auditions last a week. And that Monday, when Monday came on. Everybody would run up to the little old bulletin board looking like goddamn he say, man, um, the names that came in. Right. And, I'm, and like I told Right, so so what okay, so before we go, so what happened what um what happened when uh you, you, you tried out, right? Yes, sir. I tried that. I tried that when I tried that, you know, he really, you know, Mary, you know, you know, I did my thing. You know what I'm saying? And um uh, when I did my thing, I looked at Mary, I gave him a look when I walked out the door because once you know you done done your thing and, and, and you, you done made your point, right? You can look at a nigga and it's like, oh, son, oh Obama did and do this, right? You know what I'm saying? And drop the mic on. You right. know what I'm saying? That's when you know you did your thing. You can walk out now. I can't change a hater's heart, but when you shoot at a nigga, man, you shoot at a man real, and you shoot at a tough, and you know you got it, you got it. No matter what, no matter what, how hard he feel against you, how how mad he is at you, you understand me and um. The sign came out, man. The list came out, and we they ran up there, man. And I, one of my partners turned around, he looked at me, and he winked his eye, and he told me, "Come around, come around." I'm like me, yeah, come around. I ran up there, and he pointed at the list, and I was the tenth man on the list out of all ten. I was the last name on the list, the last name. I, I, I won my audition. I was like, oh, I'm in. I'm in, God. I'm in. I'm in. And so, uh, we had the talent show, man. All the guards showed up. Dun Dolo. Dun Dolo got up there and did his thing. The Dun. Dun Dolo. 
You know what I'm saying? Dun dun. Got up there and did his thing, man. No, uh, uh. Chill Wheel did his thing solo. A lot of more artists did their thing. Right. And as usual, they hated on me. They put Percy last. Yeah, you know I had to go last. They, they, they put you dead last? Dead last. They were last. last on the list of, on the audition, but I was <laughs> on it. But I made it. Right. They put me last on the talent show list. Do you, do you think it was a little hate right there when they put you there last? You know, uh, let Percy do his thing. He made the talent show. Let him do his little old thing. And uh, hey, but you know, I'm gonna show you something about Mary, man. You know, it'll all play out in the end of the story. So um, yeah, everybody did their thing. You know, and the crowd was bored. And you know, you know, everybody ready to go back. But they got, oh yeah, hold on, we got uh, Percy, Percy, OG Percy's coming to give us something. Everybody, oh Percy. And all the prison guards, they was looking. Right, nobody didn't really just think you had yeah. anything. Yeah, all the prison guards was looking, you know, like, what Percy gonna do? He, he just good for fighting and acting up and being on some bullshit. I know he ain't got no talent. What kind of talent? I know he ain't finna get his ass up there and try to sing. You know what I'm saying? You know. So I got a little old rap I got for him, man. So uh, I did a rap I called My Philosophy. You know what I'm saying? Why, 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 why you name me that? Cause I said it is my philosophy. I say, uh, I ain't never had sense till I found Jesus. I ain't never killed a man, but man tried to kill me. And I ain't never seen the dead rise until he rose in me. Right. Now I'm the way real child of God was supposed to be. I used to hang with the bad cause the good put me out. I used to think life was bad till the good came out cause they sprinkled dirt on my name. Cause they can't figure me out. They throw dirt on my name until they build them a pile. They didn't throw dirt on my name until they didn't build them a mound. But see, God made me out of dirt. That's why I'm here now. All they did was build me up, and they couldn't see how. All I got to tell my haters is, please, throw dirt on me now. But my thing through that song, man, was to tell the people how God and took me from something, from nothing, and brought me into something. And, you know, and, um, right. and show them how my faith was long and my praise was strong. And let these niggas know if they didn't get God, they doing something wrong. My motto, if you can't save a life or save a soul, man, niggas need to put the mic down and don't rap no more. Right. If you can't save a life or save a soul, put the mic down, don't rap no more. So I did my rap, man, and at the end of the performance, man, um, I got an encore. And I was like, dang. I looked up and I seen guards that don't even like me clapping. Right. And I said, okay, God. I seen, you know, I, I did I did my thing. Um, like I was saying, um, I'm always different from the rest. I ain't never been a follower. I, I told, I told, um, Little John, the dean over at, um, Oklahoma that say, say, when you come to some crowd, you got to know how to do things. Right, right. I sized the crowd up. One thing I did that was different, I was the only nigga walked in there and did a gospel rap. Everybody else was, like, they everybody were, like, else was gangster, everybody else was kidding, rapping, everybody kidding. else was cars, everybody else was jewelry, everybody else was clothes. Yeah. You understand me? I'm the only one went in there and did a gospel rap. Right. They were like, damn, did this gangster just do a gospel rap? And I noticed when when people got up to perform, you would have niggas hankling over here. And, and niggas, while, while people up there doing their performance, niggas was talking over here. And niggas was hee heeing over here and got, got. And But I noticed when I got up and did mine, the whole crowd was froze. All the eyes on me, all the attention. Nobody was talking, nobody was laughing. Everybody just wanted to see what the next word was coming out of my mouth. What right. was the next phrase? And I was looking. What, and I, what was you thinking? What was I thinking? I was like, God talking. God, you talking. I see you talking, God. All I could do was remember the eyes. And my eyes was just looking at everybody looking at me. Yeah. And, and nobody took their eyes off of me. Right. And nobody was not listening. It was like God froze the room for a moment for everybody to hear what I had to say, what he had to say through me. Right. And, uh... And after that, I got an encore. And they clapped, and they clapped, and they clapped, and they clapped, and they clapped. They clapped so hard that the man asked me that I have another song I wanted to do. And wasn't nobody allowed to do number one so, song. Oh, so you did two songs. I ended up doing one. Okay. But I did a song with Chia Wheel and my sub, my other little old group. You understand me before that. But when it came down to my talent, they wanted me to do two. But I didn't, you understand me? They said go on and pass the verdict. So, you know, they did the, the third place first. Whoever won the 25, then they did the second place. Whoever won the 50, you know what I'm saying, man? And I sit there, and, and, and they said, and, and it sounded like they didn't even want to say it. 
And first place goes to Sin. And I heard my partner say, my partner looked at me and said, you boy. I said, that ain't my name. He said, who? And Mary said, Percy Demerson. They go, what? I won first place. And the whole crowd jumped up. Stood up. Clapping. Right. Who wrong? Dun Dolo, you was there. Uh, Slim Gotti, you was there. 50, you was there. Shout out to my nigga 6 9 man. Trey 5 7 Dixon Circle. And I walked away with this, y'all. I walked away with this. Make sure you get that, that, that one up. That Percy Demerson. I walked away with the first place at Dawson State Jail uh, talent show. Right. And as you can see on this certificate, man, I made everybody that was in the talent show sign it. Everybody signed it to say that I was the truth. Dun Dolo, your name is right over right here at the top yeah, somewhere. Right there, where you at? I got right Dun Dolo right there, the big Dun, he signed it. I see Stop it, Six. Yeah, yeah, you see it, you see how it's a lot of names, so y'all probably can pause and look at it yourself. But they own her. They own her, man. Yeah. This, this real talk. God's been yeah. giving word. Yeah, God been giving the word through me, man. And hey, um, something I learned when I left her, um, How to proact before I react. And I stayed in population. I seen God start working differences when I was in places. Cause I always said, hey, when cats come to jail, first thing niggas wanna do is go hide behind that Bible. Right. Uh-uh. First thing, let's give a little true testament now. First thing niggas wanna do is go hide behind that Bible when they get in, in situations like that. You understand me? Uh, I wanted to tell the show, God bless me to walk out with that headphones and that and that, and that conversary. That, you know, hey, he had it was, it was meant for me to have. You understand know me? But the message got out. Everybody know the message got out. Yeah. You um, know, I learned I learned a lot then. I learned that God could use me. That's what I learned, Diamond. Right. You ask me what I learned? Did I learn anything? Right. I learned that he could use me right then. That was a that was a moment that he showed me that he could use me. You know, when when the time came. Right. You know, that was your first time ever experiencing right. anything like that. Experiencing God work through me, right? For others to say, "Hey, you, you, you can be something. You can do this." Right? Because you had you know? a lot of attention on you too at one time. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that, that negative attention at first. Yeah, but this is the first time you had a, 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 some good eyes on you. They was just like some good eyes, Whoa, good hearts, he good spirits. This. Yeah, they, 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 didn't, they, they, they didn't see that coming. It's it's a, it's, a, it's something that I call don't let the green grass fool you. Right. That's me. Don't let the green suck to some niggas. Y'all look at some of these niggas. These niggas green grass, but they got a lot of weeds in them. You gotta look, you gotta see. You you can look at me and judge me by the book, man. Look at person. Don't let the green grass fool you, man. You know what I'm saying? Some some shit ain't what it look like. Some right. of that grass rubble. Some of that grass fake. Some of that shit turf. You hear me? Right. Some of that shit ain't ain't. You can't even plant it. You dig it? But um, I'm solid, man. You dig what I'm saying? And God showed me that. You know. But at that time in life. You know, you don't take God serious. You know, right. you're still stuck in religion. You know, and I was at, I was still at a young age. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, I watched God move in a lot of ways in my life through the system. But like I gotta say, when some of you cats get behind them boys, first thing they do is run behind them Bibles. Right, right, right. Them Bibles ain't gonna say y'all, man. Them Bibles tell from crib man say. Them Bibles ain't gonna say. What you mean when you say uh, the Bibles ain't gonna save them? The Bible ain't gonna save them, man. You know, some of these niggas did so much wrong, man. Let me tell you something. Niggas, some niggas think God is a uh, is a trick daddy, uh uh, a, a sugar daddy, uh uh. Oh, use them for when you. They, they think they think they think he hocus pocus. Right. I they see. think he Camp Dracula on, on on Sesame Street. One, two. They think he can hocus, say they think he got the abracadabra man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What they think God is when when they think that hey, I can you that shit don't work. That don't work, man. That shit don't work. You gonna catch that same time you was gonna get. Right. Yeah, it's good to go in and have a change of heart, change of mind. That was something you should have had before you got where you was at. You dig what I'm saying? Right, right. Thanks. Now that's just real talk. But then when niggas get in there, they find out, hey man, if I go to God, I might get 10 years instead of 30. I might, you gonna still get that same time you was gonna get when you got to, no, no, say. God will look out for a lot of people, but he don't look out for fools. You hear me? Right. And you can't play him for one either. He already know why you over there praying. Right. He already know why you over there crying in the prayer circle. He already know why you over there on your knees trying to come over and talk to others and try to tell them how to get their shit together. Nigga, you in here just like I am, nigga. Right. Can't tell me a bitch ass thing. I never hid behind the Bible. My mama told me a long time ago when I came home from prison, did you go to church? And I said, no, ma'am. She said, well, baby, you should have started. That's where you should have started it. I'm like, church? Oh, no, mama. 
I don't, I don't, I don't fool around no churches. Right. They can be down there sucking dick and meeting they punks and all type of shit at them churches. I don't fuck around them churches down in the TC's place. I did on Ferguson for the first time. Right. I did on Ferguson. But um, when I say that, that, that Bob ain't gonna save me, ain't gonna save him. Look, get back to what I was saying earlier, man, when I was talking to you off camera. Um, a lot of you young niggas go to that penitentiary, man, thinking that I don't know what OG nigga or what nigga came home and they white beat or whatever with all they tattoos and shit. And, and making these young niggas think the penitentiary was cool to go to. Right. When I was coming up, they made the penitentiary sound like it was cool to go to. You had niggas really out here pausing in young niggas' mind, making them think the penitentiary, the tattoos, the muscles, the build, and them niggas weren't giving no guidance. The niggas weren't giving no guidance to say, hey, man, y'all stay out of man, I just came. Them, them niggas was on some gangster shit, but had niggas pumping weight, push-ups, and niggas was misleading niggas. Right. And I was one of shit, the music on the radio, no, Compton, NWA, right. you know what I'm saying? All, everything they showed on that bitch was a nigga in there bumping weights in the penitentiary. Somebody behind motherfucking bars. Ever since Colors came out with Ice-T, first place you seen Crips and Bloods behind bars throwing up sets and signs. You know what I'm saying? I told my partner earlier, man, when niggas came in, in, in Fort Worth County Jail, right. shout out to Carlos, man, 103rd Carlos. Shout out to Lonnie, Big Blood, Big Dog, Lonnie. Um, shout out to uh, Carperhead. Uh, shout out to Abdul Chaplin, man. You know, y'all was sitting in that y'all was sitting in that interview room when they were trying to bring some blood and crip shit together back then, way back, way back then. Right. And um, uh, back then when you came in the in the county jail, when you got booked in the county, niggas already knew what time it was. Right. Fort Worth is a gang infested city. Jail, nigga, was gang infested. I don't give a damn if you had a ticket. You ran a motherfucking stop sign. If you came in that motherfucker for goddamn me, uh, 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 child support. Right. Nigga, I don't give a damn what you came for in jail back in them days. Your ass was gonna leave out of blood or a crib. Or you gonna leave out with your ass toe wide open. Nigga down there will beat the brakes off you in that hole. Right. You was gonna get on somebody's side, nigga. Right, so you, so it, it was that bad. It was, it was that bad. Gang banking. 